Welcome back to Beyond the Bag. Today we are taking things in a new direction. We are going to make a delicious black tea flavored pound cake. And as you will see, the whole process is well, a piece of cake. We are going to start by preheating the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 175 degrees Celsius. Oil and flour a pan. I am using this bread style pan, but feel free to use whatever shape you like. Be careful, as you can see, this tends to be a bit messy. Next, in a small dish, add a teaspoon of black tea to about a quarter cup of boiling water. I am using a pretty bold awesome black tea here. The strong flavor will come through into the final cake much more than a mild flavored black tea. Set this aside for at least five minutes while we get the rest of the batter ready. Next, in a medium sized mixing bowl, add three whole eggs as well as an additional three yolks. Then add one and a half cups of granulated white sugar. From there, we are adding a cup of liquid melted butter. Follow that up with a half teaspoon of salt to amp up the flavor. Then mix in that dish of black tea, leaves and all. This adds a unique texture, but if you prefer a more classic one, you can strain the leaves out, but the flavor won't be as strong. We are then going to whisk this into a mostly homogeneous mixture. To polish off the rest of the batter, we are going to add one and a half cups of white all-purpose flour. We are then going to whisk this vigorously to introduce a bit of air into the batter. This is a fairly dense cake with no leavening agents, so the air introduced here will be responsible for making the cake spongy. Once you have given the batter a thorough mixing, it is time to get the cake ready to bake. Pour the batter into the oiled and floured pan and clean up some of the excess flour around the edges.
From there, we are going to place the pan into the oven. We are going to leave this in for about an hour and 15 minutes. To check and see if the cake is done, poke a toothpick deep into the center and pull it out. If it is clean, the cake is done. Once the cake is done, run a knife around the edges of the pan to free the cake and let it cool for about 15 minutes prior to serving. The final cake is delightfully complex and moist. It is sweet, but not overly so, substantial, but not heavy. The tea leaves add some nice texture variation as well. It is so good, it is already gone. Give it a try for yourself at home and let me know what you think down in the comments below. Cheers. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future videos. You can also find additional content on our social media and blog.